Hello! What's up? How are you people of the world? I'm gonna let the cats in. <gasps> Little kitty cat! Hello again, people of the world. I'm here joined with Pharaoh. We're about to have an interview on what it's like to be a cat. Very excited to hear his thoughts, aren't you? What do you think? What is it like to be a cat? Huh? A cat that is addicted to temptation treats. What is it like? Is it hard? Is it frustrating? Do you want thumbs? Is it just like temptation awaiting you, tantalizing goodness, and then you get a treat and you're like, yes! Is that what it's like? We may never know. Hello, welcome to another video, everybody. I'm Allison, for those who are new here, uh, welcome. Weird video for you to stop in for the first time too, but hello. Everyone returning, hi, welcome back. Sorry about the clickbaity title, but I want to say something very important to you today, which is I am sorry. And I wanna say it for the last time. I'm so sorry for not being present on YouTube, for being absent. And I want to let you know that it is the last time I'm going to be saying that and I will be way more present very soon. Like starting in hopefully, I don't know, a couple days. I'll be up. Uh, I'll be here a lot. <laughs> I want to tell you why I've been absent, reasons that are not included and why I've been absent and what I foresee this channel being moving forward. Again, I feel like I've already told you, but I'm going to tell you again because the time is here. The time is now. Be here, meow. Anyways, the reasons why I've been absent are there's some blockage that I feel and I'm not quite sure what it is, but I think that it has something to do with this directed inward feeling of inadequacy. And I'm not going to go deep into that, but it's definitely there. Like my wanting to make videos because that is not a reason i've been absent the lack of wanting to make videos i definitely have the desire to make videos and the inspiration and the passion and the drive too but there's also been something blocking so there's that but there's also which i think is what it more so has been for me lately this relaxing into all that is right now because we work so hard to achieve certain things and to have certain things in life and to be certain ways and then we don't so often appreciate getting there achieving the thing having the thing being who you want to be who you wanted to be you know way back when when you looked and you were like i want that in the future when you get there do you stop <sighs> And appreciate it. I feel like it's not as much of a practice as is the climb. The climb is more the practice that people, you know, take note of. But anyways, I feel like where I am right now is uh, like the epitome of what I wanted in so many different ways. Having just the best friends and wonderful romantic relationship and my kitties i just am obsessed with the cats obsessed with the cats i'm taking care of myself like my basics sleep eating hydrating moving my body um emotional intelligence is there i'm feeling it i'm labeling it i'm letting it go and practicing feeling happy and enjoying life like it's all there right now and I just have been allowing myself to just enjoy it you know and there's also been a lot going on and allowing myself to not do it all with YouTube involved you know instead like put things that aren't required sort of on the back burner while I do like things as they come up that I want to do eventually like house stuff or um, I've been also adulting a lot, like taking on more bills and responsibilities in weird ways, but that's, I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll talk about that more in the future, I don't know, we'll see, but 
I've been taking care of business, but also relaxing and I don't know, just enjoying life. So that's a reason why I've been absent. A reason that is not why I've been absent, which I don't know, I hear other YouTubers say sometimes and I'm just like, it just turns me off from watching them is that they're like, I just don't feel the same way about making videos as I have in the past. And I'm like, hmm, then what are you doing here? Like, go do something that really lights you up, lights that fire inside, makes you feel like you're sparkling, you know? Um, I love making videos. I do. I have so much to say, so much that I want to share, and I love it. I love sharing and connecting with people. I started this channel and it was called Lost Child Diaries in the beginning. Shout out to anyone who's been here since then. And I started it because I felt like the lost child, like I had been voiceless and I figured out this answer of what I've been struggling with and I'm like, I'm done being quiet and hiding my true self, which at that time was hurt but like excited to be learning and I wanted to voice that and over time that has always stayed that feeling like I have a voice now and people care to listen and uh, some people care in a negative way they're like what the heck are you saying girl but that's okay you know that's this has been a big part of me learning that lesson that it's okay for people to not agree with what I have to say I can say it anyways I want to say it and so it ought to be said you know and it's just awesome I love it I love doing this making videos and um okay now moving into what I foresee YouTube being is I really want to be a part of people's life I know what it's like to love YouTube and like go on and like hope that someone has posted a video not even like for what they are saying but because I know that like just them doing them is gonna inspire me to do me and like also give me something to do while I'm like maybe doing something that I don't really feel like doing and it's just gonna be like a fun part of my day it's like bringing someone into my life and being a part of someone's life it's cool and I just I want to be that you know be a part of people's life and I have so much stuff that's hopefully relevant for your healing. And I'm not just going to be like talking about, I don't know, whatever. I will share that. Whatever. Whatever I feel like sharing. And um, But so much of my life like is CPTSD, recovery and resilience. And learning about people's wounds and desires and how to close that gap. And so I just live, sleep eat, sleep, breathe, that I love it, I love it, and I feel so in line with that, so I'll definitely share a lot of stuff that's hopefully relevant for you guys, I think that'll be relevant and valuable, um, and also share me, and just hopefully be a part of your life, because that's what I want, you know, in YouTube, and that's what I want to offer as well, with this Productive Resilience channel and lifestyle that I've cultivated and that you're a part of so anywho um I'm sorry for my absence I appreciate you still being here regardless and I look forward to talking to you again very soon videos on my mind right now are how I healed my anxiety in the last five years um, emotional manipulation in relationships, healing from codependency, the pros and the cons of no contact, and um, five fun facts that you guys don't know about me. Just fun, not CPTS related, D related facts about me. My favorite short story, um, my pet peeve, and other things. So. Um, stay tuned if you're interested if you're like nah I only want to see your videos like once every couple weeks sporadically like you've been doing then fine whatever just kidding just teasing um, 
thanks guys for being here for being you thanks for putting in the effort to be your best self and yeah know that that ripple effect butterfly effect really does change the world for the better so you're doing a great service to yourself in the world and that's awesome i appreciate you so much and thank you for appreciating me in any way that you do and i'll talk to you guys soon peace